Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm out here this morning fishing two different kinds of power bait craws. We're going to try the larger of the two first, and if I don't get anything, we'll size down and see if that helps. It's been rough fishing this last few days. All right, here's what we're going with first. Power bait, power claw, hook to use. 5 aught EWG, that's what I got on here. So this is black grape, green fleck. Let's get one on. This is a pretty big craw. There we go, that's what we're gonna go with. Fishing that on the $15 bait caster. Still got that 12 pound Walmart line. So far it's caught over 10 fish, doing very well. Let's see if I can get anything this morning. Drag it a few feet, pause, watch that line. Drag it a few feet, pause, watch that line. Let's move down. Why? Why are you just chugging it up so hard? Why? Coming to fish the bank at the park? Really? F this guy. This f***ing guy is really doing it. He's coming to fish the bank of the park. There's only one place for me to fish and that's this bank and this guy in the bass boat. He has the whole lake. He chose this spot. Got a whole lake and he has cut me off on this bank at the park. Real fucking impressive. Fuck it, I'll keep going down there and fish right by him. I mean, it's the only place I got. This guy. Got a whole lake. Here he is. Fish it's so annoying. I'm in a twenty thousand dollar boat. I'm gonna go fish the bank at the park where the only spot you can fish. Fucking turd. Now he's out of here. Good. I'm gonna hurry up and beat you to your own spot because I'm in a boat and you're walking. One thing I don't like about this lure already is that for the claws to start flapping, it, it needs a little bit of speed. A slow drag doesn't get them flapping. You can feel when it gets up to speed but when you have to pull it that hard, it comes up off the bottom. Some nice big Canada geese right here. Yes! Oh! came off. What was that? What's the deal with that? That felt like a good fish. Tighten up my drag. God damn it. Work my way back down. So far, one, one hit. So far, one bite. came off though. Uh, what the fuck?
All right, 12 pound test. It's not a fish, but hell, I lugged it in. Let's see if I can make a pitch or two underneath these trees. Oh, what the hell? I see some fucking jagged ass concrete down there. Damn it. Yeah, it's a little bit scarred up right there. Must have been tangled around something just right. Well, since that one snapped off, I'm gonna switch to this. Powerbait Chigger Craw, four inch. All right, so here we go, watermelon candy get this hooked up. This one feels a little bit softer than that last one. Let's keep trying. That's what fishing's really like. I lost two, caught a big ass stick. That's how my day's going so far. I'm bummed, but I gotta keep trying. Even when you miss fish, you just gotta keep going. Now I'm all on edge. I think the guy in the boat rattled my cage early and I just haven't been on my game since then. That's one thing you gotta learn to do when you're fishing. Got him! Yeah. That's a pretty nice one. That's a pretty nice one. Stop with all that shit so I can get you off the hook, huh? Nice, right up the front of the snout. Finally got one. It's a nice one. Let me wipe off the camera and make sure I get a good shot. There we go. Not huge, probably not quite as big as those other ones that I think I had on the hook, but I'm totally excited I finally got one. Four inch chigger crawfish right here. All right, let's let it go. All right, that helps the morale a little bit. All right, well, I'm a little bummed. I may have missed a fish or two, but I did end up getting one. There we have it. In the battle of the Power Claw versus the Chigger Craw, the Chigger Craw won today on a technicality. I had a couple of bites on the Power Claw, but I failed to land and or hook the fish. Maybe I'll do this battle again one day, but for now, that's it. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.